Okay, so I've had a few requests to open up my homemade lithium powered UPS uh, with my homemade LiPo battery. Uh, it's been going good. I've just drained it to 12 volts, or 12.1, of course, uh, 76%. Now, the reason I had to open it up is because my really cheap eBay charger from China uh, blew up. You can see, uh, yeah, that didn't fare too well. So anyway, it wouldn't charge anymore. So I've just gone to JCAR, that's our local electronics store, and just bought a very bog standard 12 volt DC switch mode regulated plug pack. Regulated is very important. Two and a half amps, that's good. This used to charge the LiPo to 12.6 volts, but it would generally, as it got warm, it would go 12.7, and that's not good. But anyway, the BMS would try and balance it, but there's only so much these little uh, balancing resistors can do. So anyway, I figured 12 volts is better. Uh, that's 4 volts per cell. Alright, so basically you've got 240 volts, or 110 if you're in America. Uh, 240 volts, that goes into the back of the inverter. Oh, sorry, uh, my homemade UPS. And now, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but, uh, <clears throat> so, all right, so straight away, 240 volts, uh, active and uh, neutral, sorry, neutral, active, right, so these are the 240 volt contactors, so when the power cord is plugged in, the contact is on, so it'll connect these, oh, this, and this, so that way it'll get 240 volts straight from the power point and that'll go straight from the power cord into these plugs at the back right but when power is lost this relay will shut off and the 240 volts will then go from here to there and on this middle pin is the output of this 240 volt inverter which is powered by the 12 volt battery now Inside here is just a shunt uh, to measure how much current you're drawing. Um, that's the back of my LCD screen. There's not, not a great deal to see. So anyway, you go from the 12 volt battery or 11.1 volt battery. The positive goes straight to the positive of the inverter. But the negative has to go through the BMS and it's got a balance lead. Uh, so that's fine. So the inverter is always on. That's the only drawback. So as you can see, we're not drawing any power at the moment. But I'll put in this switch, try to keep everything looking normal. I'll put a black plate over that. So turn this on. And now the inverter is on. There's a little light in there. I can't see it. The inverter always pulls about 690 or 700 milliamps that's the only problem and you'll see the screen is now lit up to show that as well uh, if i can show it yep so there we go about 700 milliamps so <clears throat> even though the inverter's on right so we're in a pretend blackout mode so if i plug in my 3d printer Right, 3D printer will boot up. There we go. So now we can see we're drawing about 2 amps or 32 watts, something like that. And the battery is going to last about 9 hours. But of course we're not doing anything. Right. So we'll just unplug that for the time being. I know the video is getting long, but... I had quite a few requests. But anyway, so now uh, we've got the 12 volt DC charger. It goes in here. Positive goes straight to the battery, but the negative has to run through the BMS and it regulates the balancing and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment, the it, we're losing about 700 milliamps per hour. That's just the standby current of the uh, inverter. So anyway, we'll now plug in my UPS. 
right? And you just, I'll do that again. You'll hear the relay click. Hear that? There we go. So now the screen starts blinking to show we're charging at 2.2 amps. So it'll take three and a half hours to charge the battery. But because the UPS sits in the corner, uh, don't really care. But this, this, uh, oh yeah, and that's all this is, just a 12 volt plug pack. But I just have to uh, chop open uh, one of these. Everyone's seen these. Yeah, chop that open and that's the circuit board there. I'll just close it up in here. Uh, just won't touch that or I'll probably die. Right, so anyway, we're charging at about 2.1 amps. It's pretty good. Now, this will only charge it to 12.2 volts because this is putting out 12.2 volts. It's not quite on the 12 volt mark, but 12.2 is a lot better than 12.7 uh, or 12.8 sometimes. So that's all there is to it. Now, to put everything in running together, we'll plug in the 3D printer. <coughs> Sorry, yep, plugged in the printer. It's booting up. All right, so you can still see we're charging. You know it's charging because the screen flashes and the battery icon is changing. We're charging at about two amps. So now we'll go to the printer and we'll start heating up the bed. There we go. So now the printer is running totally off the uh, 240 volt and you'll see we're still charging. So the charger is filling up the LiPo battery as we speak, even though we're not focusing. Yep, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So the charger's doing its job. Now we'll simulate a power strike. So power goes off, printer is unaffected because this relay just clicked and it's now running off battery. So if we come back here, we're no longer charging. We're losing power at 22 amps. And we're pulling 260 watts. And at this rate, it'll keep the printer going for about one hour, five minutes. And that's all there is to it. Um, so now I'll simulate the uh, power comes back on. Click, relay clicks over, printer's still unaffected. So now we're no longer drawing power from the battery it's now coming from the mains and we're back into charge mode so we're now charging at 2.5 amps and the battery will be full in three hours and that's all there is to it so hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea of what's inside the uh, homemade lithium uh, UPS um, yeah I've got a mess but there's the old one it uh, blew up so there we go, better than uh, throwing it out. And uh, all, all the balancing is taking care of this BMS board. Uh, just got this one off eBay, so if any cell gets too high, it'll cut the power. And if any cell gets too low, it'll cut the power, all, all kinds of things. So now that we're, I'll pull the power. All right, so now we're running off battery again. So now I'll just simulate uh, one of the cells going a bit low. I'll just pull the cord so it now thinks One of the cells are low and it kills the power and the warning buzzer All right, so if I plug this back in The warning buzzer won't go away So you just got to Reset and there we go the beat. That's how you reset the BMS so that's why I had to install that on-off switch at the back. And now we're back in action. The printer's booting up. All right, so there we go. I hope that answered uh, quite a few questions. Um, so now all I've got to do is just put this. Uh, this is the original plastic case for the old charging unit. Why won't this focus? Anyway. All righty, so now we'll just put that up shove it down here somewhere and jam on the lid and that's pretty much all there is to it so hope you oh yes and the only other thing 
I won't do it, but I've wired this button to be a reset button. So if I hit that, it'll reset the counter back to 32 amp hours. And yeah, that's all there is. All right, thanks. Bye.